looking for an institution to further your studies and wholesome growth in a serene environment? Kenya Methodist University, Kemu, is your best choice. Kenya Methodist University, the future is here. About uh, Kemu and the sports, it's come a long way. The story starts from the year 2006, when I got a job here as a games tutor at the institution. Kemu is a sporting powerhouse. We have won many accolades. These are sputters on the sporting map. Um, Kenyan Methodist University is an institution that is known both nationally and internationally for good football. Then apart from football, we're also doing great in other sports like ta Taekwondo. We have uh, basketball, rugby, table tennis, badminton, and the list continues. About football in Kemu. Football, you can't talk about football in Kenya Methodist University without uh, uh, mentioning a name of a prolific personality called uh, Hilary Mukasa, the coach, who, who, who I met in uh, 2006. Hilary Mukasa, the Kemu FC and the coach, believes in grooming talent from scratch to want standards. He is patient motivating and vision oriented. The head coach Ilali Mukasa believes in sportsmanship and beautiful football. Um, as a footballer, um, coach Hilary Mukasa would say is a great man, but as a coach and as a mentor, he also takes his time out to encourage even the footballers on things that has to do both on the pitch and outside the pitch. One word, he's a great man. Coach Mukasa is a mentor. He guided the team. Uh, to, he made us able to win the Division 1 and qualify for the Women Premier League. He guided us throughout when playing for the, the KUSA games, the all the university games. And what I can also say about him is that he gave me an opportunity to be, to be in KEMU because it's through him that uh, I knew about KEMU. He introduced us to sports in KEMU and that's how I got a scholarship in KEMU. Final head coach in Kenya Methodist. Coach Hilary Mukasa, I can say he's one of the best. If I'm to compare, would have compared him with Pep Guardiola. And I'm glad he wasn't just but a coach, but he was like a teacher and a parent to the team. It is impossible to escape the impact of Kemu in football as a university. Football is a talent from God, and here in Kemu, it is a symbol of success. The philosophy of the team is to embrace sportsmanship and win in a clean and a beautiful way, upholding the Christian values of the university. The longevity of the consistency makes Kemu one of the greatest universities in football in the country and in East Africa. Okay, as a journalist uh, in Melo County, covering sports, I was able to interact with uh, Kemu football. And what I, what I can agree is that it really created a big impact because uh, the team was able to ascend greater heights within a very short span, play some brand of football and sports and brand of soccer that had never been seen in this county. Uh, Kenya Methodist University focuses much on empowerment and transformation of young people. And in my case, uh, since I've been, I joined Kenya Methodist University, 2017 May, I've seen uh, Kenya Methodist University making sure that all our students have emp are empowered in terms of academics and uh, sports. The Kemu football team participated in the Kusan National Competition for the first time in 2009 at the University of Nairobi. The team gave a good account of themselves only to be eliminated by Strathmore University in the semi-finals. This was the second Kusa edition since inception. 
Since then, the university has participated in all CUSA competition as a result of priceless support by the university management. In 2008, we were making impact in the region. We were able to summarize all the things in the Kenya region. And then we ventured in the Kenya University Sports Association Games, where again we competed favorably, also in various tournaments like the KU tournament, J Quads, and so on and so forth. In 2015, Kemu football reached the pinnacle of success in the Kusa Football Championship. It is in Jaramogi Oginga Odinga University of Science and Technology that Kemu underlined its supremacy in football. The soccer team for men reached the finals and lost on post-match penalties to the Tobias Ochola coached Kenyatta University. The semi-final was the toughest match of the year against the fancy Strathmore University that was coached by another Kenyan football legend, Miki Weche. Kemu won 5-4 on post-match penalties in the Battle of Titans. Guess who the champions in the women's soccer were? It had to be an excellent Kemu Queens team boosted by an array of Harambe Starlets players. They clinched the trophy in style after beating University of Eldoret in the finals. I remember in Joe's 2015, it was a good university tournament, KUSA tournament. The strength of the team was that we been playing the league together, we had played many tournaments together. Yeah, that made us stronger because we knew each other, we played well. In 2015, we were able to be to lift the Johust, the Kenya University Sports Association trophy in Johust, that is Bondo as number one contenders in soccer women. The Kemu football queens participated in the 7th Africa University Games for the first time and finished second to Makerere University after losing on post-match penalties. The games were hosted by University of Nairobi in 2014. In December 2014, all roads led to Uganda for the 9th East African University Games. The biannual games were scheduled for Uganda Christian University in Mukono between 17th and 21st December. 47 universities turned up with a total of 18 disciplines and 3,000 participants. The opening ceremony was presided over by Reverend Dr. Stanley Ntagali, who also doubled up as the Archbishop of the church in Uganda. The organization of the event was magnificent. The games brought together representatives of national and international federation, athletes of great prestige and personalities of unquestioned fame. The Kemu football team for men posted a splendid performance in an extremely difficult tournament. They managed to reach the quarterfinals and lost to Makerere University of Business Studies. Their most memorable win was against Islamic University of Uganda, which had several quality players in their squad. The Kemu Queens football team was synonymous with success in that tournament. They were simply unstoppable. The squad had extraordinarily gifted players and was extremely exciting to watch. They played that championship with their hearts and minds and according to the FIFA laws of the game. Apart from winning against Busitema University and University of Eldoret among others, a 3-0 victory against the University of Makerere was the sweetest revenge after Makerere had beaten Kemu into second position in the Africa University Games in Kenya earlier on at University of Nairobi. In the grand final, only Uganda Christian University stood between Kemu and the gold medal. Kemu won 3-0 in a thrilling match that was watched by a capacity crowd. The best East African University Games football championship had been won by perhaps the best football team assembled in such a competition.
One common thing when Samantha Akinyi played for Harambe Starlets and Kemu is that she has been a safe pair of hands between the goalpost. Fantastic coordination, excellent distribution, solid catching, and fast reflexes is what can best describe Samantha Akinyi. Captain of the invincible Kemu Queens, Maureen Atta, has been a perfect leader on and off the pitch. She is an assertive defender and for all her time in Kemu, she was the cornerstone of the defense. Her ability to head, pass accurately and the speed she possessed was a key to a solid Kemu defense. She played for the Harambe Starlets on a number of occasions. Winner of the Sport Journalist Association of Kenya President Award 2017. The top scorer in the Cotif Cup in Spain in 2016 whereby Harambe Starlets participated. Second top scorer in the Sekafa Championship in Tanzania in 2016. Scored the first ever goal for Kenya in the African Women Cup of Nations in Cameroon against Ghana top scorer of the East Africa University Games in Uganda in 2015 with nine goals. Essie Akida is a phenomenal striker as far as women football in Kenya is concerned. When Essie joined Kemu, the university had admitted a scoring machine. Whenever she played for the national team or Kemu, the goals kept coming. The exceptional striker has the ability to shoot accurately, supersonic speed, remarkable ball control, and the ability to read the game and be in the right place at the right time. These brilliant abilities enabled her to sign a football contract in Israel in 2018. Akida is this Kenyan striker. Uh, playing for Speda Club. Essie's football journey began when she was eight years old playing for moving the goalpost in Kilifi where her dribbling skills impressed the scouts. The 23-year-old joined Coastside St. John's High School Kaloleni on scholarship and was later scouted by National Youth Talent Academy from Sakata Ball Frontiers and joined FKF Premier League side Matu FC in 2012. She then joined Kenya Methodist University for a degree program while playing for the Kemu football team in the Division 1 league. She possesses uh, very good skills. She, hasn't, she doesn't have a problem uh, one against one. She has good tapping in terms of, of scoring. This is something that she has a good nose for the goal. Uh, my goals in life in football terms, I want to be a pro football player. The star striker made her debut for Starlets in 2012 in a friendly match against Ethiopia where Kenya lost 5-0. Une autre touche que va exécuter Wendy Aching. Nous sommes dans la surface de réparation. David, c'est le but. Voilà la surprise au stade Omnisport de l'UB. Omar David qui peut célébrer ce but. Et le Kenya qui prend l'avantage au score de Nelbou Magana. Absolument. Nedi Atieno has been the captain of the Kenya Under-20 national team. The former Tartar high school student with supersonic speed has always been a menace to any opposing defense. She has represented the nation in many assignments, which she has always done with utmost diligence. Her role in the success of Kemu football cannot be ignored. Scored many beautiful goals that earned Kemu promotion to the Kenya Women Premier League in 2014. She was crucial in the East Africa University Games in Uganda and Africa University Games in Kenya in 2016. She is currently in KDF and still contributing to the development of the beautiful game. Popularly known as Maestro, Cherise Avilia is a midfielder with sublime skills. She makes football look easy. A great passer with a panoramic vision. She has always been charismatic on the field. Cherise Avilia 
Esther Mazira and Lillian Adera were formidable in the Kemu midfield. Avilia was the leader and together this midfield trinity enabled the Kemu team to be consistently triumphant and repeatedly victorious. Her greatest joy in football has been to wear the Kemu jersey and national colors. She will forever be remembered for scoring the historic goals against Algeria that helped Harambe Starlets qualify for the African Women Cup of Nation in Cameroon for the first time in 2016. My best moment playing for the national team that will be scoring that goal. Uh, remembering that game, I, I came in as a substitute and then there was this free kick and out of nowhere, we, we, the, the keeper knew, most of the people knew we were going to, it was a direct free kick and somehow we, we connected with the with a teammate of mine and we started a short, a, short, a, a quick start and then I scored. Kemu began participating in FKF competition in 2008 when the men's soccer team participated in the FKF Greater Meru Football League. In 2012 and 2013, the football team participated in the FKF Upper Eastern League and grew from strength to strength. We are very happy because first of all, for the last four years, we have been having a very, very good time for our national office under the leadership of Nick Mondwa. We are very happy because now Kemu has come back post free. Their football men team is now reading in Meru County. After finishing that in the league standings, the team earned a ticket to participate in the Eastern Province Mini League in Machakos at the beginning of 2014. The gallant Kemu team did not disappoint as they reached the finals. This earned them an opportunity to participate in the FKF division Zone 1. The Kemu Queens participated in the FKF Division 1 League Zone 1 winning all their matches. The undisputed champions earned a promotion to the Women Premier League. Unfortunately, they could not participate in this league because of unavoidable circumstances. The Kemu team for men participated in the FKF Super League in 2015 against football heavyweights such as Wazito FC, Administration Police, Kenya Police, Kangemi United and Coast Steamer. Kemu vs Strathmore was the university derby in this highly organized and competitive league. Kemu FC recorded the highest score in a singular match that year by teaching Takai FC a football lesson they will never forget. The scholars beat the visiting Takai FC from Malindi 7-0 in one of the most dramatic comebacks. Kemu came from 3-1 down at the stroke of halftime to unbelievably beat Strathmore University 6-3. This is one of the reasons that make football interesting, its unpredictability. Kemu finished in a respectable fifth position in that Super League. The reflex saves by Franklin Mwenda ensured Kemu reached the Kusa finals in Jaramogi Oginga Odinga University of Science and Technology in 2015. After a successful spell at Kemu, he played for NSL teams Osarian FC and Vihiga United where he justified his super role. In the Kenya Premier League, he played for Nakumat Football Club and Mount Kenya Football Club. Both are now defunct as a result of financial challenges. Currently, he is at Bidco United in the NSL. Julius Odanga is the longest serving goalkeeper of Kemu and played a remarkable role in the promotion of Kemu to the National Division 1 and Super League in 2015. Currently, he is a goalkeeper trainer at BD Sports Academy in Meru. When we mention the best defenders to have played for Kemu, the name Michael Odongo rings a bell. Popularly known as Alaba by his peers and fans, he joined the Kemu football team while in Form 3 at Muslim Secondary School in Meru. His first touch on the Kemu football pitch was an indicator that the boy was pure. 
was nothing but pure talent. He featured for the team in the provincial league for two years. He joined Kemu to study after his KCSC examination. After brilliant displays at Kemu, he joined KPL side Thika United. Currently, he is at NSL team Vihiga United. Sean Obora, the admirable midfielder with a superb ball control, decorated the midfield. Aptitude and attitude were all in great measure for the left-footed player. On various occasions, he wore the captain's armband in the Kemu jersey. After Kemu, he played in the NSL for Administration Police, Bidco and Fortune Sako. At Bidco United, he was the captain of the team and emerged as the second top scorer in the 2018 NSL. Indeed, that was a classic performance from the captain. Kazim has always been masterful in midfield. He is gifted with exemplary skills on the ball and is capable of brilliance at any time, including scoring goals. Currently, he is playing in the NSL for Fortune Sako of Kerugoya. This is one player that I really lack the exact words to define his ability. Kazim is a football diamond in midfield. Excellent ball control and footwork makes him the midfield king. Nur Munene is a perfect beneficiary of Kemu CSR in sports. He started training with Kemu FC while a teenager in Form 3 at Kibirichia High School. He was a force to reckon within the Upper Eastern Provincial League in 2012 and 2013 Provincial League. He played a crucial role in the Kemu team in the 2015 Super League and the East Africa University Games in 2014 in Uganda. A mainstay in the Kemu team he was, he is and will always be remembered for selfless contribution to the team. He is a super result of handwork and talent. He got the potential to be a world class footballer. The name Otinya in Kemu symbolizes scoring goals, known as Mwalimu because of his teaching career. Otinya has a high speed and a terrific left foot shot that has enabled him score crucial goals while playing for Kemu. He has jumping power that has enabled him score some fantastic headers. After Kemu, he played for Palos FC in the NSL where he was their top scorer. His goal scoring prowess earned him collapse and play for Kenya Premier League teams Sofapaka, Nzoia Sugar and Vihiga United. He played in a friendly match for Harambe Stars against Malawi. A well-built and powerful player who, after graduating from Kemu, has played for KPL sides Western Steamer, Mathare United and Sofapaka FC. Okoth has led Kemu to winning several championships. He was also a captain of the team on numerous occasions. Anthony Onyango has always been a joy to watch because of his dazzling footworks and flair on the pitch. He played a memorable role for Kemu FC in 2015 Super League. After leaving Kemu FC, he played in the NSL for Police FC and Fortune Sako. He was the second top scorer in the 2018 NSL and joined KCB in the KPL after the end of the season. After staying in the sport arena for a prolonged period of time, athletes come to retire from the active participation in sports. Some common reasons why athletes retire from sports include injuries, declining ability, 
conflict with occupational demands and a desire to spend more time with friends who are non-athletes. Kemu encourages athletes to balance between academics and elite sports because there is life after sports. Football as uh, the most popular sport in the Kenya Methodist University has had quite a big impact in terms of um, our student population. Uh, the students we've taught who were actually part of the football team, both the ladies and the gents, uh, had quite a good balance because they still attended their classes, they still did all the cards and assessments, and also performed very well. What drew me to football was the commitment to the commitment that the players had to the game. They would have a schedule whereby they would train each and every day, led by the coach. So um, I got interested and I joined them as the team doctor. Some of the members of the team are actually drawn from the local community and it gives uh, these youngsters an opportunity to get exposed to the university. They interact with scholars and that gives them motivation to also try and uh, get to the university and study. What inspired me most about the teams was that it kept them off other things that us as young adults go through growing up. So they were able to keep busy and make better use of their free time. Luis Bundi was a gentleman on the pitch and in everything he did, the man of few words and a cool smile was the captain of Kemu FC in 2012. He was wonderful in overlapping. He was a finalist in Egerton Sports Week tournament in 2011, together with Anthony, Sire, Murethi, Dixon, Eto, Kamau and Harun Theuri, they made a formidable back four. Anthony Moredi would later join KPL side Ulinzi Stars and become a soldier. Bundi featured in the East Africa University Games in Kampala in 2009 and in Kusan Nationals in 2009. He played for Kemu FC in the FKF Provincial League in 2012. After graduating from Kemu with a diploma in clinical medicine, Bundi was awarded a scholarship to pursue a degree in sports medicine in exercise at Camp Bellsville University and also studied a master's degree in sports management in the same university. He currently lives in Texas. Phoebe goes into the history books of Kemu football as the first captain of the women team way back in 2007. She was a fantastic striker and her leadership was outstanding. Her major strength was her football zeal. After graduating from Kemu, she worked at the Kenya Rugby Union from 2008 to 2009. From 2010 to 2016, her star continued to shine brighter at the Kenya Premier League Limited as she was brilliant in organizing the league fixture. This culminated to winning the KPL Chairman's Award in 2015. In 2016, FKF poached Phoebe from KPL and appointed her as the competition's manager, a post that had been previously held by Doris Petra, the current FKF vice president. The ambitious Phoebe left FKF in 2017 and studied a FIFA stroke CIES sports management course in South Africa. In 2018, Phoebe was contracted to work with Berlin Sports Consulting. When Elias Murega joined Kemu, he was already an iconic figure in Meru football. In his youthful days, he had represented Eastern Province in the Copa Coca-Cola National Championship in the year 2000 against players like Dennis the Menace. Oliech. He featured for the defunct Kisima Bombers in the KPL League in 2002 and also played for the Agri Fresh of Nanyuki in the Super League. He attended a KNVB basic coaching course at MYSA. Immediately, he joined Kemu for a Bachelor of Science degree in nursing. He cemented his position in Kemu FC as a prolific striker. His splendid football performance on the pitch and in academics earned him a Kemuda scholarship under the stewardship of the then-games tutor, Jeff Kubai. 
He was a bright boy. His tremendous dribbling skills often earned him the rider, Kadenge, from his peers. We all know that Kadenge Nampira did with the ball in the heydays of his playing career. A leader on and off the pitch, Elias was the president of Kemuso in 2010. He played for Kemu FC in the Greater Meru League and also participated in the East Africa University Games in Kampala and Kusan National in 2009. The same year he was useful when Kemu reached the semi-finals of the Kusan National Championship in UON and lost to Mickey Weches, Strathmore University. Elias Murega is the current chair of FKF Meru Central Sub-Branch. He is also the Honorable MCA of Municipality Ward in Meru and the patron of the FKF Division 2 Team Meru Mutindua Bombers. Currently, he is pursuing a PhD at UON in Project Planning and Management. Big Vai was a player who fitted in more than one position. He comfortably played as a midfielder and a defender. He was the captain of Kemu FC from 2006 to 2008. The inspirational captain played a key role when Kemu finished fourth in the Greater Meru League. He captained Kemu in her maiden appearance in the East Africa University Games in Kampala in 2009. In 2016, the leader on the pitch was now elected as the FKF Secretary General of Taita Taveta Sub Branch. His election was not by accident as he had already been the Kemu Student Union Sports Secretary from 2006 to 2007. Currently, the incomparable captain of his era is the Minister of Youth, Sports, Culture and Tourism in Taita Taveta County. After studying in Kemu, Ronald Okoth has been involved in football since graduating with a Bachelor of Science degree in Information Science. He is a football analyst in the mainstream TV stations and was also a Blaze mentor in the Chapadimba and Safaricom National Competition in Meru in 2019. Currently, he is the founder of Ronald Okoth Sports Management, which is a consultancy agency that deals with how to manage players, helping them to get a team negotiating contracts on their behalf, looking for possible scholarships and endorsement deals for them, rounding financial business and educational opportunities and advisories, helping them to get a better life even after football, smooth transition from football to life after football, building their brand through social media, interviews, etc. After a splendid football performance, Sean Opora is now a sports officer at Chuka University and giving back through the beautiful game. Coming from a war-torn country and surviving one of the worst horrors of the 20th century that made him an orphan, he was left with nothing substantial for survival in the aftermath of the 1994 Rwandan genocide and sought refuge in Kenya. He joined the Kemu football team immediately. He was admitted in Kemu for a degree in agriculture. He was a beneficiary of the Kemuda scholarship. Football was in Nsengu's blood and Kemu FC became a home away from home. He acknowledges that football did a lot to help him heal. The Kemu team embraced peace, love and unity and we were a large family. He managed to make many permanent friends from the football team and that's where his greatest joy was found. In the team there were players from Kenya, Rwanda, Malawi, Zimbabwe, South Sudan and Nigeria and they all coexisted peacefully. These are the words from the passionate midfielder. Nsengu played a crucial role in helping Kemu FC earn promotion to the FKF National Division 1 League after playing in the FKF Upper Eastern Provincial League in 2012 and 2013. In 2014, he played for Kemu in the FKF Division 1 League Zone A1. In 2015, he participated in the FKF Super League and the 2015 Kusan Nationals in Bondo. Apart from being a committed footballer, in 2013, he was voted as the Student Leaders Union President. He is currently on scholarship at Uni Göttingen in Germany and still playing football.
Football has put Kemu on the sporting map and this has highly attracted media firms to feature this super talented team.